No heavy humidity, no blustery winds, no rain to wash out your plans. Just another picture perfect evening across Minnesota. This is what we dream of when it comes to fall days. And it turns out there may be a scientific reason we love this year so much. And Jeff, we can't wait to hear what this is. Yeah, up here in Minnesota and western Wisconsin, we get all four seasons, but there's potentially a fifth. Let's call it autumn kind of a work in progress on the name there, but it's a brief stretch of time that might have you trying to book some outdoor plans right now or exactly one year from right now. Relocated from California, uh -huh. thinking spring would be my favorite time of year, and no, I absolutely love fall. A feeling that's hard to argue as people grasp at these last few summer-like moments in the beginning of fall. If we could have it like this all year, it'd be awesome. Unfortunately, it's only about two weeks, and it's happening right now. I think this is a piece of what makes fall so spectacular. Dr. Kenneth Blumenfeld, a senior climatologist with the DNR, described it as a micro-season. And that is to have clear skies, fair weather, and generally nice kind of agreeable conditions at the end of September, and during early October. This graph shows which time of year has the highest probability of clear skies. The peak is this current pocket of early fall, six times more likely than the month of June, and slightly higher than those sunny but brutally cold days in January. The atmospheric pressure tends to be a bit higher this time of year, and what that does is that means that the air is actually kind of pushing down more on the Earth, and that prevents clouds from forming. University of Minnesota scientists discovered the weather pattern in the 1970s. Sure, clouds will form during this time, but Dr. Blumenfeld says the trend overall hasn't cooled off. I think this is, this is something that people definitely notice, maybe subconsciously. Oh my gosh, just beautiful, lovely. Again, it doesn't happen all the time. It just happens to be more common this time of year than any other time of year. So how will this blissful stretch of weather end? Well, as the month goes on, the temperature will drop, the humidity will rise, and it'll be easier for clouds to form, which will create those gloomy, chilly nights worthy of a blanket when you're out by the bonfire. Yeah. Those nights are good, too. Those bonfires are, fun. are yeah. good. All right. Very interesting, Jeff. Thank you.